Kanto. Last time we learned all about the novel coronavirus. We also learned that we should wash our hands and wear a mask to prevent infections. But do you know why viruses make us sick? No. This time, we learn more about viruses and what they really want from us. Okay. If we want to know what the goal of the virus is, we first need to learn about our own body. The human body is made up of many, many cells. Cells? Yes. Imagine that we have a big puzzle. It is actually made up of small puzzle pieces. Our bodies are just like that big puzzle. And cells are the little puzzle pieces that make up our body. Where are the cells? We can't see the cells because they are really, really tiny. We need to use a microscope to be able to see them. Our cells are like a candy factory. Just like how the candy factory will make all kinds of delicious candy. Throughout our life, cells provide materials and energy for us humans. In the cell factory, there is an office called the nucleus. And in the office, you'll find the boss of the factory, DNA. DNA is very busy. He can't leave the office whenever he wants to. So he has an assistant running errands. The name of the assistant is RNA. And his job is to convey DNA's instructions to all factory staff. The factory boss, DNA assistant RNA. That's right. On the other hand, there is an evil RNA that lives in the novel coronavirus. Evil? Yes, this evil RNA also wants to have its own factory. But that factory doesn't produce energy. It produces a virus army instead. But the <laughs> virus doesn't own a factory, so it tries to invade other people's cells to steal their factory. One day, the virus snuck into a saliva droplet and successfully entered a human body. But not everything can enter human cells. You need a key to do that. The virus can't get in. <laughs> Toto, don't underestimate the novel coronavirus. It's very sneaky. Kids, do you remember what the novel coronavirus looks like? A like a plant, B, like a hat, C, like a crown, D, like a tadpole. A crown. Yes. We know the novel coronavirus is round and has a lot of spikes on its surface. So it looks like a crown. These spikes are important because they can turn into keys to open the locks of the human cells. After they enter the cells, the novel coronavirus will reveal its real mission to kidnap the factory boss DNA and take over human cells that are supposed to be providing energy to create many, many new viruses. Oh no! At the same time, the immune system army in the human body finds out about the invasion and rushes to the battlefield to destroy the cells occupied by the virus. When this happens, the human blood flows faster because the immune system army is rushing to the infected parts of the body via blood. That's why people will cough and have a fever. The novel coronavirus prefers staying in human lungs, so the war between the immune system army and the virus can also cause pneumonia. In reality, humans have faced attacks from many viruses other than the coronavirus. For example, smallpox is one of the oldest and most deadly infectious diseases. 
People infected by smallpox will have sores all over their body, and it will also leave scars on their faces. Luckily, no one in the world can be infected by smallpox anymore. 200 years ago, a British scientist, Edward Jenner, invented the smallpox vaccine and successfully destroyed this virus. Awesome! So, when facing diseases, we need to have trust in science. We are confident that doctors will soon find a cure. Search for Dr. Panda.